Another one. Uh, when it comes to regulatory clearance, were you guys cleared in the EU uh, or did you do another trial with the CFDA or how did that pan out in the end? So, so we're not approved uh, anywhere and in every country, the US, Europe and China, we, we have to conduct clinical trials. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, and, and it's much the case as uh, with the FDA, as in China, um, get a, find a way. So for the FDA, it's really easy. You can uh, get a, a you, you can file like a, a pre ID or some paperwork with the FDA and, you, and go meet them and you discuss with them. Um, with, with China and the NMPA, um, their regulation has changed. Um, so if you're active in the medical and, and as if you get classified as an innovative medical device, the NMPA will provide you a, spe a specially dedicated team to help you uh, at every stage and try to accelerate um, your, your every aspect for you to get on market as soon as possible. Um, and then there's also, let's say, sometimes more of the informal side is uh, Go, go meet the MNMPA in, uh, in Beijing. If you have a Chinese partner, they're going to set up a dinner for you to go meet the MNMPA and you can have a dinner with them and discuss everything. Thanks. More questions? I, I have three. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, is your product, can you articulate a bit on uh, distribution? Is your poor product already there in the marketplace? And any tips on, on, on that one? Uh, no, so, so we're not on the marketplace and we don't expect to be on the marketplace before 2027. Uh, and in, in each case, I mean, we take it on a region to region basis. For, for, for China, there's no other way than to have, have a strategic partner over there to sell it. Um, in other regions, maybe in Europe, the MENA region, you can go through distributors, you can even set up your own sales team in Europe, um, and same for, for the US. Any more questions? If not, then maybe one last question from, from our end. Um, we're going to travel with entrepreneurs to China next month. So what would be your top advice how to prepare for that trip? If you've never been to China before, like what are the... Yeah, um, I, I still have this huge problem that still right now in preparing before, because when you want to look up companies, um, you, you can't use you can't use Google to look up, hey, which are the companies? It's it's really difficult to do, let's say, a market analysis, find out who the key players are. So basically, I, I, I look at, let's say, a market study and see, hey, these are the companies active in my field. I should find a way to get connected with them. And then I reach out through, through my network and WeChat. Hey, do you know somebody or can you get me connected with this person? A second thing I did do, and I... Um, is I use ChatGPT because it's owned by um, um, Microsoft and they have Bing, which is actually functioning um, in China. So ChatGPT can actually help you to maybe screen and try to find some information that's in the Chinese web and you're not going to find through Google or, or, or elsewhere. Oh, that's very good advice. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and, and if anybody has any questions or, or feel free to reach out to me on, on LinkedIn. Uh, I, I could maybe, I, I could uh, link you up maybe with some, some people in China that might be able to help you out. Uh, that, that's all what the entrepreneurial community is, is uh, we're helping each other out, so. Anthony, can I ask one more question? Um, yes. So, I mean, because this is such a black box for many, and I think also when you have new people, older people in the board, some of them got burned, so everybody's extra cautious. So there's also a lot of different agencies that do kind of a co-reporting and management of the subsidiary. Do you have any experience on this or positive expressions, negative expressions? Um, so what? So I actually, I managed everything myself 
in the Chinese company and I, I, I had a st stack of papers like this and it's all in Chinese and I have to stamp it with my company stamp. Um, so, but the thing is you can get some local admin support on this and, and, and that's the really, it, it doesn't cost much, it's super helpful um, and they can help you navigate through that all the way. So uh, th that would be a, definitely a tip. Um, so don't be too too afraid. To, you, you can always pull out your translator and check the the contracts and everything. Um, it, it, the legal framework and the contracts are, are are still, let's say, much simpler and and much more basic than co than compared to a U.S. legal contract. Uh, so it, it goes straight to the point. This is what you want to do. This is this, these are your terms, and it's straight to the point. Uh, yeah. 